In this chapter, it's all about thinking in a certain way. There are three main ideas from this chapter that I want to share with you. When you are trying to impress your thoughts upon substance, you must know what you want. You must form a clear and definite picture of what you desire. This idea cannot be transmitted unless you have it yourself. You will not get rich or start the creative power into action by sending out unformed longings and vague desires. So think of it this way. Every single thing on our planet originated with a thought. It could not manifest without this initial phase. If you want to be rich but think of it in a vague manner every so often, then chances are money's not coming your way like you want. When you set an amount, for example, and then thank God for already having this money, because having faith is a big part of this, the more likely you are to think of new ideas and have people come into your life that will help you to achieve your goals. Okay, so on to our second main idea. The methods in this book are for those who can overcome mental laziness and to make them work. The more clear and definite you make your picture and the more you dwell upon it, bring out the delightful details, the stronger your desire will be. And the stronger your desire, the easier it is to hold your mind fixed on the picture that you want. I'm sure you've heard a lot about mental imagery. Well, now you know the reason behind it. It's just tied into how God has created our universe on a quantum level. The experiments that have been conducted, um, this is a simplified explanation here, shows there are literally waves of possibility that can be influenced by our thoughts. And on to our uh, final point here about faith, and um, I'm not going to read this quote to you because you can kind of read it while you listen or just pause the video. I realize this can be easier said than done. Now the goal is to see truth no matter what it may look like on the outside. And the truth is we live in a very abundant world. You always have control over your thoughts though. You can focus on the good rather than the negative. When you dwell on what you don't have, remember, this is keeping you in a negative vibration. With this statement, we're being asked to feel positive about something first before it even happens. So the feeling really is the secret. It takes real faith. A uh, few examples, I thank God in my journal for my healthy kids. Now that one definitely exists. Um, my dog, I don't have yet, but my kids want a dog and I keep coming up with all these reasons why we can't have one. So now I'm finally, okay, writing it down in my journal. As soon as I do that, I know it's gonna happen. And finally, my Jeep Wrangler. I don't have yet either, um, but I just need to be patient. And uh, I'm actually gonna weave the whole Jeep story into my law of attraction because it actually is in the process of becoming. Um, so stay on the lookout for that. <laughs> I don't even care what year it is. I, I just would love to have a Jeep Wrangler. I'm not, and by the way, being wealthy, I've emphasized this so many times. It's not just about money to get stuff. It's about experiences. It's about being able to help other people, right? Um, oh my gosh, I could so go off on this for a long time. But whenever I'm speaking of wealth, it's so much more than just money and getting stuff. Sure, a nice, lab, you know, I was going to say Lamborghini. Who wants that anymore? Mercedes-Benz or Beamer or Wrangler, like I do. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But if it's your total focus and just acquiring stuff and like, oh, look at me, then that's when it becomes more of a, a problem, I think. Um, okay, so I'm off my soapbox on that. And as a side note for the ladies watching, please change the he to she while reading the book. And any references to Mel because it definitely makes more of an impact. Um, in fact, I replace a lot of the, the wording with you even, or with I, as I'm reading. Um, it just mentally, it just works better for some reason. I mean, this was written in the early 1900s, so there tends to use he a lot. Um, I don't think he's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, biased against women. It's just how they wrote. So anyway, okay. Um, so yes, having faith, very, very important.
To summarize, get detailed about your desires. Continue believing that you can achieve your goals and dreams. The right people and circumstances will come into your life and will arrange itself in a way you can take action and get what you desire. If you like my videos, I greatly appreciate you subscribing. Um, this is motivating for me because then I know I'm providing value for others. Um, oh, and don't mind that bell. I work off of a, it's called Pomodoro, so apologize about that. <laughs> it's a time management technique. Anyway, um, I want to change lives and definitely be a light for others. And definitely these videos, as I've mentioned before, um, are one of the ways I accomplish this. So as always, thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day.